The final shape, what actually is it? Do you know? Do the witnesses disciples? This phrase can be found all the way back in Destiny 1's Hive Book of Sorrow and over the years has become much more prevalent, even receiving a Final Saga expansion of the same name. Today we're going to talk about what the final shape actually is according to the witness. In the unveiling lore book, we first heard about this flower game and the two forces of Gardener and Winnower. The basis the Gardener would create, the Winnower would destroy, light and dark. In the evening, the Winnower reaped the day's crops and separated what would flourish from what had failed. They are domesticated things made in a form. As soon as something is called a garden, it is shaped. The plants require the hand of a gardener, for they have become weak and dependent on tender care. They require the hand of a winnower to cut away the dross, for they are too incapable to do it themselves. In the absence of a hand, either the flowers themselves must rise up to wield the knife, or the garden will resolve to meaningless wilderness. If you thought you were confused in what the final shape is, the witnesses' disciples don't even know. An unknown disciple said, There is a conflict in me, a witness, that unsettles your weapon, myself. Why is it that you allow flawed understandings of your great work to persist in all those who serve you, even in your disciples? Every one of us seems to have some different conception of your final shape. After some thought and confusion by this disciple, they continue, Your final shape will be a hundred promises kept. I have seen the reflections of it through all of we disciples, through the tracks you leave in the universe, a truth understood through these shadows it casts. There, I have resolved the conflict within my thoughts, and I am at peace again. Once more, I am only your violence and nothing more. The final shape will realize us as we strive. From his rise, to his fall, to whatever it is he is becoming now, Callus is seeking transfiguration. He believes it will help him better understand the goals of the witness, the final shape. This is something I have heard spoken in Hive Apocrypha, and from the lips of Tolan the Shattered. According to the Hive, the final shape is that which remains when all that can be removed has been removed. It is as vague a notion as it is fascinating. If this is the witness's true endgame, we must strive to understand it. And in that understanding, perhaps we can prevent the second collapse. So it is interesting that even the disciples all see this final shape as their own goals. The witness wields these disciples, they go in blindly believing they will achieve this final shape, whatever it is. And some of these different species have their own interpretations of this shape. For example, the Hive, who follow the sword logic and wish to be all-powerful. Savathun questioned this millions of years ago with her siblings. From the Books of Sorrow, I don't have a strict proof yet, you know. Savathun strokes the void with one long claw, and space-time groans beneath her touch. This thing we believe, that we're liberating the universe by devouring it, that we're cutting out the rot, that we're on course to join the final shape, I haven't found a strict, eternal proof. We might yet be wrong. It was your infinite wisdom, my witness, that led me into the planet's great sea, and face to face with that which was believed to be unbeatable. You instilled in me a true understanding of wanton domination. Not for pleasure, but as a means to achieve our absolute finality. Annihilation of your kind was never the goal, but filling you with the right kind of ideological purpose. The kind that serves the finality of shape. Also remember what Sabathun told us in her Two Truths, Two Lies, one of the first possible answers to what the final shape is. The witness seeks the final shape, and the final shape is nothing. From the purity lore, 
As a student of hive lore, purity makes me recall the final shape, that which remains when all that can be removed has been removed. Perhaps the final intention of the witness can be found in the final shape's exotic, the pre-order one, tessellation, using the pale heart and this realm to create a universe of nothing. Once, something will become nothing. There are beings who plant their intention and say, so far, no further. The bulwarks and the bastions, the stubborn flower that will defy even stone. In these hands, possibility is a single-minded tool. Resolution, pursuit, obliteration. What potential lies in empty space? All that dies is only ever transformed, abscised and swallowed by wilderness, returned to infinite metamorphosis. To excise from that rich loam of transformation requires no less than perfect certainty. Here is a secret. A plowshare and a sword have never truly differed. A plowshare is a main cutting blade of a plow. Of course, we know what a sword is. In the cutscene where we learn about the witnesses' species, we are told they sought desire and meaning. This also plays into it, finding the light. Enough death. The game is over. Your pale heart holds the key. This time, there is no escape. The Witness has the darkness. It has always had a connection to it. The pale heart of the Traveler is what it's trying to use to gain connection to the light. So with both, it can enact its final shape. The witness looks around and sees a lack of purpose, no meaning. It wants to fix all that. So it's trying to put the universe into this frozen perfection where everything's just exactly how it thinks it's supposed to be. That is the final shape. They see things that are more and more wrong as they begin to go towards the witness's monolith. It's kind of this omnipresent foreboding thing off in the distance. The weirdest things happen as you get closer to the monolith in the form of reshaping. Kind of like deconstructing things and putting them back together. Just wrong. The witness wants to end this suffering it sees. Although many may be confused by the final shape, including its disciples, the witness has a clear goal and is hell-bent on completing it no matter the cost. The final shape is what remains when all else is destroyed, rearranging the universe as it sees fit and freezing time forever. Either freezing in that perfect form it sees or deleting everything, the universe itself. Nothing can make other things change like the Traveler has done for so long. Everything will be perfected and eternal once the witness acquires the light. So there you have it, Guardian, some interesting topics on the final shape. It is interesting, I'm sure there's more to it, but Bungie says the witness needs the light to enact this final shape. It's already got darkness and needs the light, but the Guardians have both. So will we do something along the way with our powers to sort of stop this and enact our own shape or reverse whatever's going on? If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.